Hey, I'm Nina, and this will be my knitting podcast. Don't know why we call it that, because it's a video on YouTube, usually. Um, but this is where I will talk about what I'm making. That may include knitting, crochet, weaving, naturally dyeing yarns, and some mending. Today I'm drinking tea from a mug. Um, I actually just filmed this entire thing on my phone. Then I went to listen back to it and my audio is doing this very weird thing where it is not working on my camera phone, but it is working on Instagram. And I was wondering if I should post a live and have it be IGTV, but I ramble too much and lose my train of thought. So I want to edit this. <laughs> so I'm going to be posting on YouTube and I'm trying to film it again from my photo booth throwback. So yeah, here we go. I already finished my tea because I was drinking it, but I want to show you this very special mug from my friend um, Moody Julie who is a ceramicist and also reads tarot and overall Gemini genius. So highly recommend their ceramics. It's my tea mug specifically. I only drink tea out of this mug. I do not put coffee in here because I have a coffee mug. Okay, so let's get started. I don't know what usual order this is done in, but what I'm going to do today is start with my finished objects, work my way from there. Um, so first I have a very cool and easy bandana test knit that I did for B at Maker Bee. I will try to remember to put names down there. But yeah, I did this test knit. It was my first test knit ever because I don't usually do free labor. I knit it up using my own hand dyed yarn. Um, I naturally dye yarn at Starbath Dyes and this is the silk linen dk no silk linen fingering in the colorway the star it's so cute this is my personal favorite way to wear it and pretend that i like have a herd of sheep but then i also wear it a lot like this like so comme ça and yeah, it's so cute. I wear it on the regular, which is why it's not looking as nice anymore because it could use another blocking, but I love it. I think it will be coming out soon, but no pressure be. <laughs> um, keep stay tuned. Um, I'm thirsty. Where I'm talking. Um, ooh, next, next, next. Okay. I know what you're all thinking. My ends are not woven in, but I am still counting this as a finished object because I've been wearing it in public for about a month now. So it's finished because it's wearable. This is the Sprig Kerchief by Annabelle Wynn Lizard. Sometimes I will also wear it like this, but mainly like this. Oh, it's so cute. I look so good. 
I am thinking of knitting a bigger one so that I could wear it on my waist like so. Um, the yarn I used, let me roll in, is um, a scrap yarn I had from Full Moon Fibers. Um, I knit my mom last fall, autumn, a cowl, so I got her some cashmere yarn for it, very special and bougie. And I had a little scrap of that, so that's this. I do not remember the colorway name, but it is Full Moon Fibers last year's autumn color. And then in the kerchief ties, I just had another random scrap. I do not know what it is that I used there. And I think they look so good together. I love, love, love these little details. Can you see that? Boop. So cute, so soft. You could definitely also wear it like this. It's finished. Don't ask me. Next up, we have a sock. I guess this is technically a half object because socks are usually pairs. Um, whatever though. I have a sock. I'm very excited about it. I also use Full Moon Fibers. It's, I'm going to be repeating myself a lot <laughs> because I use their yarn a lot. Um, so I used Full Moon Fibers. The colors are incredible. Wow. The ribbing is incredible and the pattern is ooh, Berkey Socks um, by Bryce of Broccoli Witchcrafts. I really like this pattern. It is a DK sock. I'm hoping to make a second one soon. Um, I used size 2 needles for the cuff. Um, but I actually borrowed them from Zoe, so I have to wait till they're done their sock now to borrow their needle again. So I'm waiting for that, and then I will finish my sock. So now some works in progress. Um, I have a Cozy Classic Raglan from Jessie May. And it's just so beautiful. I am so happy with how it's turned out. I just need to do the sleeves. Um, the yarn I am using is Akara Yarns. Um, it's blowing out a bit. Oh, there you go. The colorway is Polly. I'm dyslexic. Polyphemus mop, perhaps. I'm obsessed. It has just like the tiniest speckles of like black and brown, which I think looks almost like tweed, which I love. And yeah, it looks really good. I'm going to try it on for you. It's so cozy. So here it is on. As you can see, I didn't alternate skeins, um, but I didn't want to, and I think it looks good. So here it is. I cropped it. I wish I remembered how much I cropped it, but so that it could fit like so on my jeans. And yeah, I really like it. I guess I did some modifications, which was that I forgot I was using 
I forgot I was using the collar, the neck, whatever you call this, oh my god, the ribbing needles. I didn't notice I was still using them until here, and then I switched to the other needles, but it kind of gives this like effect where it's like flat on my chest, and then it just falls off, which I like because it does not make me dysphoric, so an accidental modification that I'm liking. Next up, we have another Jessie May pattern. This is the Framework Bralette, also, yeah, by Jessie May. You could see a little sneak peek of the detailing. Very nice. The yarn is also from New Fibers, and it is their DK Merino in the colorway Pumpkin Spice, I'm pretty sure. And I saw that they have it available in their shop, and they had a shop update yesterday, last night. So if you want to match me in this gorgeous color, you can. The options are there. My last work in progress, which is just a cast on. I just cast this on last night. So I'm unsure if it counts, but let me know in the comments below. Does a cast on count as a work in progress or is it just a cast on? But I did cast it on. To me, it's I'm working on it. So I am making the um, pullover vest version of Jacqueline C. Slack's vest pattern, and I am using my own hand dyed from Starbath Dyes in the colorway Strength. It's a gold color. It's it's not coming up too clear on here, but. It was part of my Leo season collection, and um, my Mars is in Leo. Just so you know, do with that information what you will. And I am knitting it for a special offering that I will have in my shop soon. I'm not sure exactly when I will be ready to share it. I was thinking Libra season, but that's literally right now. Happy Libra season. <laughs> um, so you might see it in, you might see it for Sagittarius season. Unless I mirac miraculously get my shit together in like a week. We will see. Stay tuned. I think that's all my work in progress is right now. I have like two projects in here that are actually shame projects that are in timeout. So I'm not going to show you that because it's not exciting to me and I would like to leave this on a more exciting note. Ooh, but I will share what I'm wearing which is my Magpie Tendencies um, by Skinanigans. And the yarn is from Through the Wardrobe. I think that's the name. And it was from the Fantastic Mr. Fox um, sock set. Mystery sock set? I think so. I think that's what it was called. And Zoe knit this for me because we are gay and I love it. It's so nice. I call this my autumn magpie tendencies because I have another one that I love and wear all the time and it's in their like what I think is my summer colors and 
this is more my fall colors. I am so obvious. But yeah, that's all I have to share today. Thank you for watching. And um maybe this was very rambly. I'm not thanks for watching. Maybe I will do this again. Maybe I will do more things. What else should I do on here? Let me know. Love you.